Hello everybody, this is Daryl again. It's a rainy day, so I just was uh, having a look at Google Earth and trying to work out driving economy for my electric car. And I discovered that there was this walking distance calculator. What's interesting about the walking distance calculator is that it includes altitude. So it includes, see here on the screen, it includes the altitude change so walking uphill and walking downhill so if we take this map and change the positions around the other way you can see that you gain more altitude than you lose so we can take this trip in different directions and it will show you the altitude differences on the different ways and if I click over here you can see that the elevation profile is different on that walk there. Uh, what's interesting about this is that unlike when you get directions for the car over here clicking here uh, you've got your different ways that doesn't indicate the altitude I guess if you're driving it you know it doesn't matter it's not more arduous to drive a car up a hill you know when you're when you're driving but for an electric car this will give some insight into the amount of energy you need because going up hills and down hills matters in an electric car what I did is I created a spreadsheet. I'll just I'll just show this fit. So the reason why I chose this trip is Mangaweka to Otaki is near where I live, and uh, it's a journey that I have to make in my car if I'm coming back from the central North Island. And if all the conditions are right, then I can just drive that in my car and not worry about it. In fact, my car has almost enough range to drive to my house. Yeah, it has almost enough range to drive to my house down here in Kapiti. Uh Anyway, so I'll just show you the spreadsheet and what I worked out. So this is a spreadsheet of my driving style and other people's driving styles will vary. What I worked out is that when I go to Mount Rapehu to go skiing, if I go up the Access Hill Road, maybe I can show you this if I just go Ohakuni and Tuuroa. We get this journey here and you can see that it's a 1000 meter altitude 1043 meters and you can see that it's a uphill drive all the way or if you plot it around the other way you get this downhill but when I drive up this it's 18 kilometers of driving and my car uses 30 percent of its battery and I have a uh, 30 kilowatt leaf and so I was able to work out how much energy per kilometer I burn in altitude compared with how much energy per kilometer I burn while just traveling the distance. So I'm able, I was able to do a calculation and separate the altitude part of my driving from the distance part of my driving. So I made this, this table here. So uh, in this, a rise of six it takes six kilowatts to pick up my car and move it up a thousand meters and if i go downhill that's a fall then i get back 1.5 kilowatts because i can regen power while driving downhill um, i made the regen number a little bit conservative um, yeah and it's just estimated on my experience of my use so i was able to make this table and then I was able to take the calculations from this other, so if I go back to uh, Mangawika and then go to Otaki I get that profile, so I've got my 407 meters and my 715 meters and then I'm able to uh, do this calculation. So when I drive Mangaweka to Otaki, it uses um, 22 kilowatts. And when I drive in the other direction, it uses 24 and a half kilowatts. And that's this many kilometers per kilowatt hour. And my normal driving is seven when I look at the screen inside my car. And so when I'm driving these highway trips, I get less kilometers per kilowatt than I normally do driving my normal drive. So my normal drives, you know, in a 
uh, bit in the city and a bit on the motorway. So it's actually a more efficient driving and it's a drive that I do all the time. There's no consideration for me for, you know, it takes the amount of time that it takes. I don't try to drive fast or anything. So I, my general driving is just casual and has good economy that way. And then if I take this data and apply it over a theoretical 40 kilowatt leaf, which I think is what the new one's meant to be, a 30 kilowatt, a 24 kilowatt, and a 24 kilowatt, which is a, um, a degraded battery. I just um, took these numbers and then guessed, I guessed a usable battery capacity. And then if I use my flat ground calculation, which is from this 6.66 um, uh, kilometers per kilowatt hour, then you get this calculation, which is around the theoretical 250 kilometer range of that car. And in my 30 kilowatt, um, if I'm just going to drive my normal driving, I, I do normally expect to get 180 kilometers uh, from my battery. And then I did the estimate for the 24 kilowatt and a degraded uh, battery as well. And you can see that, you know, those ranges are lower. And then if I'm driving this Oteki to Mangaweka type terrain, then that's 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 that difficult drive. And in my estimate, you know, I should be able to drive that distance, but I I don't I don't, I don't um I don't think that's gonna work. I I'm never actually keen to drive from Oteki to Mangaweka, driving it around the other way is more likely. Uh, why didn't I calculate it for the other direction? Perhaps I can do that now. All right, so there we there we have it. So if we if we go from Mangaweka to Otaki, you get better uh, mileage. Uh, so in my car, I can happily drive uh, from Mangaweka to Otaki if I didn't have a headwind, and that would be indicated by that kind of uh, distance here, which is actually kind of reasonable because I can drive to um, actually home. Uh, I think that I could actually... Why, why does it take me up in the mountains? That's really superly weird. <laughs> no, nobody would have ever drive that way. That's crazy. That's being nonsense. Is the road closed at the moment or something? No, there we go. That's the normal drive. So that would be um, 160 kilometers to drive home. And when I have driven, when I have driven that uh, distance, then I have found that when I got to Otaki, I did recharge my car, but only because I didn't want to be inconvenienced by getting uh, almost, you know to one kilometer from home and having my battery go flat at 10 o'clock at night, which would have been very inconvenient. Um, so yeah, that, that checks out about right. Yeah, anyway, so it's just fun, fun maths. So allegedly I should have had eight kilometers spare, which I think that was about the right for the forecast. So I think those numbers kind of do check out okay. I'm not really sure whether this might be um, optimistic going the other direction I don't I don't think that I can drive the other direction and so um, and and it's not that you can you can't it doesn't solve it by trying to recharge a otaki other because you can't get to 100% of your battery so the actual usable battery is even less so for that reason, it's going to be great when there's a charger at balls. Yeah, 100, 149 kilometers, and I calculate 152 kilometers, which is not safe enough um, for my journey. Anyway, I just thought everybody else might find that interesting. If you're into doing extreme calculations on your energy use in your car. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.